but Baltimore, who now playing their sixth game in the three years in the playoffs under John Harbaugh, all on the road with the young Kansas City Chiefs, who haven't won since 93 in the postseason. Snap that six-game losing streak. And Baltimore came out passing. <laughs> Joe Flacco to Todd Heap, the Storm and Mormon down to the one-yard line, 13 yards on the play. And then very quickly, it was surprised with how quickly they tried a quarterback sneak, and Joe Flacco was fortunate to get on the ball. Even too quick for the Ravens. Now Willis McGay, he, he's pushed back by Derek Johnson. Here's Kansas City's defense under Romeo Cornell, trying to make a stand. And Flacco hemmed in, looking for Heap. In a heap of trouble, Eric Berry defends it, and big stand Chiefs. Mm -hmm. They hold the Ravens with field goal just 3 nothing. Now, Tom Bahali played a good game, had a big year for Kansas City, Tom. And it's a fumble. The Chiefs recovered thanks to the defense. Yeah, great speed rush on Michael Orr. Great job of knocking the ball out. Thought Flacco had it, knocked it right up under his own body, recovered by the Chiefs. Now, second and four. This is what Kansas City does. Jamal Charles, whoop, and then whoop, makes the move. And guess what? He's gone. Man that averaged almost 6.4 yards a carry this year is gone. 41 yards, 7 to 3, Chiefs. Yeah, this good blocking by the Kansas City Chiefs. They create a nice seam, and Charles has that burst that you look for. Cuts the ball, get north and south down the football field. You see the miss by Ed Reed at the end. Touchdown, Chiefs. So that's 41 of Charles's 82 yards on the day. A lot of 8, 10 yard runs, Kansas City. Matt Castle, Dexter McCluster. But Ed Reed playing with such a heavy heart. His brother, uh, a tragedy involving his brother, makes the big hit. Yeah, more physical than I've seen him this entire year. And now Flacco running and Heap had a huge day. There's a catch for Todd. Two and a half minutes to go on the drive. Flacco, Heap in business again. Heap would catch 10 for 108. And then Flacco, keep it going. And then when you get used to the tight end getting it on third and two, Flacco dumps it to Ray Rice from New Rochelle, New York, in the end zone, nine-yard touchdown. The Ravens right at the end of the half, like the good teams do, on top 10 to 7. Derek Johnson playing linebacker for the Chiefs, even if you're in a zone. You man concept, once a guy runs in your area, he doesn't do that. With Ray Rice, it's a touchdown for the Ravens. Third quarter, fourth and one, Kansas City figures we're going to go for it, and this is, wow, a pitch way in the backfield. Kelly Gregg snuffs it out. No chance for first down. Ravens now start to stop the run, Tom. Now, later, it's third and 26. The Castle figures we got to try something at Dexter McClellan. Ray Lewis, how many big play, Ray? How many times? It's personal, Tom. How many times have you seen him make a big well, play? Well, this is pitcher perfect, perfect form tackling. Get the head out in front. Get the arms wrapped around. Force a fumble. Not his first rodeo. Leads to a field goal, but it's still just 16-7. Not quite put in a way, but the Chiefs abandon the running. And Castle forces to Tony Moyaki. Dewan Landry is there for the pick. Castle will be picked off three times on the day. You've seen the fumbles. Five turnovers in all for Kansas City. Ravens in business. And now comes the hammer. Flacco. Heat. Nice inside the five. Gain of 13. And Quan Bolden. Such a weapon on the short to intermediate. There he is in the... Right under the post, four-yard touchdown, and now it's 23-7, and you're just not going to do it on the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore ball again, fourth quarter, Flacco, Heat. What a surprise he went back to. <laughs> First down, over seven minutes, Flacco, Bolden, he caught five. Rice caught five, Heap caught ten. Willis McGahee. And now the running game gives him a touchdown. 25 yards, a 10-minute 20-second drive that took 15 plays. Ray Lewis, Ravens, Coach Harbaugh doing what they always do. They start in the opening round. They're on the road, and they win again. They're 4-2 in the playoffs. Under him, the Ravens slice and dice the Chiefs by the count of 30 to seven. Coach Harbaugh on moving on. Top-ranked team, Duke welcoming their pals.